guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ruthie. I'm so excited to have you guys. Um, today we're going to be making um, a really easy recipe. It's just sausage and potatoes in a crock pot. I have a similar recipe on my channel, um, but that is just with actual potatoes. Um, and this one's even easier because it's frozen hash brown. Um, but sometimes you just need like a really quick, easy, hearty meal that you just know the whole family is going to eat. Because I don't know about you, but I have two toddlers. I have a three-year-old and a one-year-old. And sometimes they gobble everything I eat up, right? And then there's other times that they just, like, won't touch it. So it's like, sometimes you just need to have that meal that you know that they're going to eat. Sausage and potatoes is one of them that I know that they will eat just because they love sausage. So that's what today's meal is going to be. I do love posting food content, and I love watching other people's food content and different things that people make. And I swear, it's if you feed your family way too healthy, people are like, oh, don't you live a little? And then if you feed your family kind of like meals that aren't so healthy, people will bash you for not feeding your family healthy. So that's what we're not going to do today. Um, we're just going to have a hearty meal, a really yummy meal. Let's get started. So if you guys are interested in watching this video, keep on watching. This has been a long intro. And if you guys do enjoy this content, I would really appreciate if you subscribe, like this video, comment this video, join the family. Um... I'm like super close to hitting a thousand subscribers, but not quite there. Uh, I'm trying to be more consistent, so I'd appreciate all the support. <laughs> Let's get cooking. Yes, babe. What is your apple do? What? What is your apple do? You want to show your apple? Yeah. Wait, what? What did the boy say? Oh, brother said apple? Yeah. Yes. I'm going to say hi. Can you say it right here? Hi. Um, so I have just a yellow onion, and then this is the sausage that I'm going to cook up today. It's a fully cooked smoked sausage. Um, so I'm only going to cook my crock pot probably on high for like three or four hours uh, because it is cooked. you can cut the sausage however you want. I'm going to cut it um, in really small chunks just because it'll be easier once I serve it to my kids later um, because, you know, sausage, is such, um, like, sausage and hot dogs are such a choking hazard. So I'm going to cut them in quarters probably, um, like this big. Um, and then probably again, at least for my one-year-old, I'll have to cut it once I put it on its plate later, but that's okay. So we're going to go ahead and chop up the sausage. didn't really need to use the onion, but that's okay. Um, this one's actually really good. Um, so we're going to use this instead of the hash brown. It's going to be even better. So we're just going to take this, like kind of crumble it up a little bit, and then put it in the crock pot. Then we're going to take our onion, throw it into the crock pot. What are you just dumping up? We love a good dump and go in this house. I love I love a dump and go meal just because it just makes everything just that much easier. Um, and I love a meal that I'm not slaving away for an hour to cook. Right. 
to like eat something for five minutes. So, um, put this in the crock pot. gonna take a quick pick. Um, so this is in the crock pot, just looks like this so far. So we have some onion powder, pretty heavy handed with my onion powder. Um, some garlic powder, again pretty heavy handed. I feel like seasonings make the difference on cooking. Try. I literally throw Italian seasoning on everything. So we're gonna throw some Italian seasoning. Again, pretty heavy handed. And I'm gonna throw just a tad of paprika onto it as well. And so to make sure that nothing burns, um, we're gonna add one cup of water. Um, this is a meal that I kind of do try to pay attention to and mix it up as it's going. Um, I feel like just sometimes um, the defrosting of the potatoes will uh, kind of give it more water as well. Um, so I'm just going to give this a good little mix. Um, I'm so glad that I had the other potatoes because those are actually like my favorite potatoes to use in a lot of crock pot meals. Um, the other hash browns will still be, the hash browns are still really good. I've made this meal before with the hash browns and it's just as delicious, but the, um, the potatoes or green fries, whatever the hell they're called, 10 times better. So now that I have this in here, um, I have one cup of water. I'm also going to add just a little bit of heavy whipping cream. And the heavy whipping cream just kind of gives it more of like um, like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just kind of like a creamier taste to it. Um, I don't know. I don't always do this. Um, so I'm just going to add a little bit. I mean, probably like a quarter cup. Should, I, I'm trying to get better with actually measuring out for you guys. Yeah, I'd say about like a quarter cup. Um, I know I'm really bad at measuring my seasonings and liquids and everything, and it's because I just eyeball it so much um, that that's the reason why I don't. Um, so yeah, it looks pretty, I'm gonna show you guys. It looks pretty, um, it looks pretty coated right now. Um, it may seem like to you guys that it needs more water, but Give it like an hour or two before to see the potatoes are defrosting inside the crock pot. And then um, kind of go from there that if you feel like, wait, go this way. So if you feel like in an hour or two, there's still not a lot of liquid in the pot, throw a little bit more water in there. You just don't want to add too much because you don't want it to be liquidy. You don't want it to be soupy. Um, you want it to be kind of like a creamy goodness. So we're gonna let this cook on high for about two hours and then we will come check on it and then um, we'll see kind of where it's at and then we'll cook it for a total of four hours on high. Um, the last like 30 minutes we'll throw on the cheese um, and then let it cook on high for the last 30 minutes. So let's get this on the crock pot. So about two hours in, everything looks great. Um, so now this is at three and a half hours in, everything looks good and I'm just gonna go ahead and add some shredded cheese. Um, you can use whatever kind of cheese you like. I always have a Mexican blend on hand. So I add about two good handfuls of the cheese and give it a good mix. And then basically just put your cap back on and let it cook on high for the last 30 minutes. And you have cheesy goodness. Um, I know sometimes crock pot meals can look a little mushy and weird, but I promise it's so good. Um, I just added a little parsley on top of mine. Um, and my kids loved it and it was delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!